This is a Celestia video project by Amanda Townsend and Chris Prezora. Um, Celestia is a very interesting program. It's a solar system animation, basically, and it has a whole host of stars, galaxies, planets that students could explore. Celestia is pretty easy to use. Um, it comes with a readme text that explains all the basic features. One of these features is right clicking will allow you to rotate around an object while left clicking will allow you to shift the screen and basically move the object across different parts of the screen. You can also zoom in or out on an object by using the middle scroll bar on your mouse or the home or end keys on your keyboard. One nice feature about Celestia is it allows you to search for lunar and solar eclipses, not only ones that happened in the past, but ones that they predict to happen in the future. Another thing Celestia does is catalog all the different celestial bodies that it has. Um, you can access this catalog by going to the Star Finder or the Solar System Browser. In the Solar System Browser, you can see all the planets as well as all their moons and select something to go to and it will automatically take you there. You could also select an object on the screen, such as one of Saturn's moons in this case, and go to Navigation and either center the object or click Go To and it will take you there as well. Once at an object, information will pop up in the top left hand corner. You could also go to navigation and click on go to object and this would allow you to either type in an object or if already at an object it pops up with all the objects information. The star browser in Celestia works just like the solar system browser. It allows you to select a star. The closest to us is Proxima and go and view all of its information. Celestia will give you real time data such as distance, apparent magnitude, luminosity, class, apparent diameter, and other data that could be collected by the students. To get back to the solar system, you could go to navigation, then go to object and type in soul, or you could go to navigation, click select soul, and then go to selection. To me, the most interesting and probably most useful part of Celestia is its eclipse finder. It allows you to find solar and lunar eclipses and then it will display in real time across the screen. Most students have probably not seen an eclipse yet in their lives and this program gives the opportunity for teachers to show students what an eclipse looks like and therefore get them more interested in the topic. To me, gaining learner attention is really one of the only uses that Celestia has. While it could also be used to collect data, there are plenty of other ways that data could be more easily obtained and this leaves Celestia very visually aesthetic but not having many practical uses. Even the Eclipse Finder has limited uses because a teacher could never really show an eclipse in real time during a class period. But luckily, Celestia does have a feature that allows you to speed up time to 10, 100, 1,000 times faster and therefore show students the general view of an eclipse. That being said, it is a pretty cool program and a couple cool features would also allow the teacher to use it as a means of presentation. Here I've gone back to our sun and I'm going to select Venus from the sky and just click Go to Selection. An interesting feature that could be used to present information to students or to get them interested in a topic is the capture movie and images function. Basically you can create a movie or capture screenshots to present to the students. It will ask you to save the file and then give you an option to do different video compressions, but I just picked the default, which is uncompressed. Then a red box will show up on your screen, and that's the area that's actually being recorded. It will show you how many seconds are being recorded, how many frames per second, and also how to start, pause, and stop the recording. The video feature has a lot of interesting possibilities depending on how creative you can get, 
but mostly it doesn't do anything you couldn't already demonstrate in the class. It does make it easier because you could record a set of events and then just show it to the class and not have to worry about things malfunctioning. All I did here is just select one object, go to it, then select another object in screen and go to that one and the video basically recorded the movement in between those two objects. You could keep repeating this and get a video of your travels through the solar system. This is the one way I could see Celestia being a means of expression, you could have the students create a video of their travels through the solar system and then with Windows Media Maker or maybe another video program they could narrate their travels with information that they have learned about the solar system and the planets. One feature I haven't shown is that Celestia allows you to bookmark different objects, allowing you to view many different objects quickly and easily. The last big feature that Celestia offers is a split screen. You can split the screen horizontally or vertically as many times as needed to view different objects at the same time. It gives you a total of 64 screens available, 8 by 8. As a final comment, I believe that Celestia has more of a cool factor than an educational factor. It shows the vastness of the universe and really puts things into perspective, but it can be difficult to orient and really has limited uses. The end.